There are new details being released this week about the parking lease plan for the city. It's been hotly debated. Kevin Osborne, our WCPO local government and politics reporter, takes a closer look at it. It's been complicated from the beginning, but now we're talking about less money for the city. And right. walk me through what's going on here. So as we all know, the city of Cincinnati leased its parking garages, lots, and meters to the Port Authority. And he, uh, for the past few months, the Port Authority has been negotiating with the subcontractors on the price. Now that sounds kind of technical and boring, but it will affect everyone who parks downtown, who park downtown and in most of the neighborhoods. So the uh, bottom line of it all is the new contract with Xerox, which is actually going to manage the meters. Uh, Xerox will be paid $6.7 million the first year, once this all takes effect in a few months. Den a company called Denison, which will manage the parking garages and lots the city owns, will get paid $45,000 the first year. And now that they know those figures, they can put out the bonds, which will, it's kind of like a credit card for the city. Hmm. It's the debt that will finance this deal. And so the city is actually going to get less up or less money than thought. This deal will generate uh, an $85 million upfront payment. The city thought it was going to be $92 million. So they're going to have to scale back what they plan on doing with the money. So we're just getting a better focus of yes. really it's where it's actually comes down. materializing, coming into a clearer picture, and so we're seeing what's happening. And there's still actually some uh, legal challenges to this by citizens who dislike this deal, the but so far they have not been successful. All right, and of course, as it comes into focus better, it's something Kevin has followed from the beginning. Bless yes. your heart. Been a, <laughs> a lot to go through. You can always find his work online, wcpo.com.